Okay, now let's look at another example. This is going to be our third option. So here, if we solve by elimination, we are going to want to multiply the second equation by a negative 2. So negative 2 times 2x minus 3y equals 6 times a negative 2. Okay, so if we do that multiplication, the first equation stays the same. And the second equation becomes negative 4x plus 6y equals a negative 12. So now when we add the two equations together, 4 minus 4, so we have no x's, negative 6 plus 6, we have no y's, so we have a 0 on that side, and 12 minus 12, we have a 0 on the right-hand side also. So 0 equals 0. That statement is always true, correct? So what does that mean? That means that the two equations represent the same line. And so if they're the same line, how many solutions are there? Well, there's an infinite number, right? Because every single point on the line is a solution to both equations. So this is what we call a dependent system. So if we change these into two equations into slope-intercept form, 4x minus 6y equals 12. So negative 6y equals negative 4x plus 12. Divide both sides by negative 6. We get y equals 2 thirds x minus 2. And for the other equation, 2x minus 3y equals 6. So negative 3y equals negative 2x plus 6. Divide by negative 3, we get y equals 2 thirds x minus 2. So you can see that they're the same equation. So, or the same lines. So the lines are the same. which means the system of equations is dependent. And there are infinitely many solutions. So we could write the solution as y equals 2 thirds x minus 2, where x is any real number, or we could write it, instead of solving for y, we could have solved for x, and if we did that, we would have x equals 3 halves y plus 3, where y is any real number. Okay, moving on to the last page. These are word problems. So we did one similar to these 
at the beginning of the semester, except we didn't have do them with two equations, we did them with one equation. I think doing it with two equations in some ways is easier. So the length of a fence required to enclose a rectangular field is 3,000 meters. So we have a field. Okay, pretend that's a rectangle. And we have y, which is the width. And we'll call the other side x, which is the length. Okay, and we know that the perimeter is 3,000 meters. And we also know that the difference between the length and the width is 50 meters. So that tells us that x minus y equals 50. And since we know the perimeter and we know the formula for perimeter, 2 times the length plus 2 times the width equals 3,000. And now we can solve. Since we have a negative y, let's just multiply the first equation by 2. So we have 2x minus 2y equals 100. And the second equation stays the same. So 2x plus 2y equals 3,000. And when we add them together, we get 4x equals 3,100, or x equals 775 meters. Now we need to solve for y, so we know that x minus y is 50. So 775 minus 50, sorry, minus y equals 50, or y equals 725 meters. And of course, you need to check this. I will leave that to you, but it does work out. So we have for our solution, x is 775 meters, and y is 725 meters. OK. Remember those acid mixture problems you guys didn't like? Well, here's another one. So. We know that we have, okay, so we have solution A, solution B, and the mixture, right? And we have the amount. We have the percent of acid, and we have the total amount of acid. So let's call the amount of solution A, A, and the amount of solution B, B. And it says we want to make 100 milliliters of solution. So our total amount of the mixture is 100 percent, or sorry, 100 milliliters. 
Now, solution A is 50% acid, which is 0.5. Solution B is 80% acid, which is 0.8. And we want our final to be 0.68% acid, sorry, 68% acid, which is 0.68. So the total amount of acid is going to be 0.5 times the amount of mixed solution A. B is going to be 0.8 times the amount of solution B. And our mixture is going to be 0.68 times 100. So that gives us two equations. We have A plus B equals 100 and we have 0.5a plus 0.8b equals 68. So let's multiply the top equation by negative 0.5. So negative 0.5 and negative 0.5 and we get negative 0.5a plus negative 0.5b equals negative 50. And then the second one, we, it's just the same. So we have 0.5a plus 0.8b equals 68. So add the equations together. We get 0.3b equals 18. So b equals... 60 milliliters. And we know that A plus B, which is 60, has to equal 100, so A is 40 milliliters. So we have 40 milliliters of solution A and 60 milliliters of solution B. And of course you should check that, but I will leave that to you. This ends lecture 8.1.